Imagine you could inject something once a week and start losing weight effortlessly. All of a sudden you would not feel hungry anymore and your cravings would go away. And even have the power to help manage diabetes. You may be thinking this sounds too good to be true. It almost does, which is why semi-glutide has been blowing up. This peptide has been heavily studied due to its powerful weight loss benefits. Let's take a deep dive into semi-glutide where I'll be showing all my research and experience with this compound. Before I begin, I must say I'm not a doctor. All this information is purely educational and for entertainment reasons. So what is semi-glutide? Semi-glutide is an FDA approved medication to help manage type 2 diabetes. It actually is a peptide and it falls into a category of being a GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist, which pretty much that means it works on your GLP-1 receptors, which in a little bit I'll be explaining actually what that means. And what they discovered is that at higher doses, semi-glutide offers a potent weight loss and fat burning effect. So how does semi-glutide work? Semi-glutide works by mimicking the GLP-1 hormone that's actually released in the stomach in response to eating. And what this does, it works both on the brain and the stomach. It works on the receptors in the brain that actually help manage the feeling of being full and appetite. So it actually helps reduce that so you get a reduction in appetite and cravings and as well it works on the stomach by slowing down how fast food leaves the stomach so this way you feel fuller longer because semi-glutide is working both on the brain to make you feel fuller longer and reduce cravings and appetite as well it's working on the stomach to actually slow down food additionally semi-glutide helps the body produce insulin which helps move sugar from the blood into the tissues which over allows the body to have better blood sugar levels, which is why this peptide was originally used for diabetes. So what are the research benefits of semi-glutide? It helps fight weight loss, it manages appetite, helps fight type two diabetes, it prevents cognitive decline, it lowers blood pressure, and it lowers your risk of cardiovascular disease. Now what are the research side effects? Abdominal pain, constipation, loss of appetite, and low blood sugar. Additionally, I've seen many people experience malnutrition because they take this peptide, they stop eating, and they don't feed their body enough with good nutritional food. So what is the research dosing and cycling? From my experience and starting the peptide community, I've seen starting off at 250 micrograms once a week for the first four weeks, and then increasing the dose by 250 micrograms every four weeks and not exceeding a weekly dose of 2,400 micrograms or 2.5 milligrams every week. From my experience, I've seen the sweet spot to be anywhere from one to 1 1.5 grams, where subjects who are heavily obese may need a higher dose, where subjects who are moderately overweight or maybe just want some management will need a lower dose. And it's important to note that more of this peptide is not always better. What are some noteworthy supplements I would stack this with? The first would be the Masculine Medicine, which I believe to be the strongest natural test booster on the market. Not only is it amazing for testosterone, but it's actually amazing for nutrition because it has heart, liver, and testicle, which are packed with the vitamins and minerals, which can be great because many subjects will experience malnutrition because they're not taking in good nutritional value. And the Masculine Medicine can help prevent that. Another thing would be some kind of natural fat burner to help speed up fat metabolism or just fat burning effects if that is the main goal, such as green tea, L-carnitine, or caffeine. So here are some other peptides I would take with semi-glutide. First would be some kind of growth hormone combo, such as apirurelin with modgiraf 129 or tesserelin with apirurelin. These peptides help the body create and release growth hormone, which growth hormone is your hormone vitality, which helped with burning fat which can be very advantageous if the main researcher's goal is to burn fat. Next noteworthy peptide would be AOD9604, which stands for anti-obesity drug, which this peptide specifically targets fat metabolism. So again, oftentimes subjects will use semi-glutide for weight loss and fat burning. So adding an AOD9604 will really supercharge the fat burning effects. The next noteworthy peptide would be MOTC, which MOTC has tons of benefits, but it really works on the mitochondria it's often called the exercise induced peptide. So it can really help with managing blood sugar levels and as well with weight loss and fat burning. 
So again, combining semi-glutide with MOTC can really add to the fat burning effects. And the last noteworthy peptide I would add would be 5-amino-1-MQ. 5-amino-1-MQ actually helps increase NAD in the body, and NAD is responsible for so many different things from your metabolism, from preserving muscle mass, from anti-aging. So I think it would be a great combo to add a semi-glutide, just overall have a smoother and more enjoyable experience with semi-glutide. So what are the pros of semi-glutide? The pros is that it's an fda approved medication that has been well-researched and well-used. A second pro is that it's one injection per week, which can be very advantageous for people who don't like injecting that much. Another pro is that it's very effective. There's tons and tons and tons of people losing 20, 30, 40 pounds and keeping the weight off. So what are the major cons of semi-glutide? The first major con, I've seen many subjects experience malnutrition because they're not eating correctly on semi-glutide. They take the peptide and they forget to eat and start experiencing all these side effects because they're not feeding their body with good nutritional stuff. Another con I've seen is that people become reliant on semi-glutide because they take this injection, but they don't change any other lifestyle stuff, such as working out, eating right, you know, all the other things that will help with weight loss and overall a better, healthier lifestyle. So what is my opinion on semi-glutide? I think semi-glutide overall is an amazing weight loss peptide, especially used in the right context. I think it can be very advantageous for somebody who is in a rut when it comes to their weight and they need something to come boost them up because it'll help suppress the appetite, help slow down how fast food leaves the stomach, as well help increase insulin, which can be a great kickstart to get started. However though, I've seen so many people abuse this compound or don't make any lifestyle changes, which has a very negative consequence. So I'd make sure if I'm using this peptide, I only want to use it to help kickstart my weight loss journey, but not to rely on it for everything. And lastly, semi-glutide is great, but Tizer peptide is actually even a more potent peptide because it works on the GLP-1 and GIP receptors. So if someone needs a stronger, more potent weight loss peptide, Tizer peptide would be my number one weight loss peptide, but semi-glutide is still an overall great weight loss peptide that I can see being very advantageous using the right way. If you want to master peptides and have all this information in an easy to read condensed format, then check out my book, Peptides Made Simple. It has everything you need to master peptides. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.